Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to study chapter number one, our Earth and our solar system. So let's start. We, when we look up from an open ground, we see the sky. In a clear night sky, we can see many stars. They are very far away from the Earth. So we all know the stars and all the planets are very away from us, but they are visible to us when the sky is clear. Okay. So, some stars are prominent while some are tiny and faint. We, if we look at them carefully, we find that many of them twinkle but some do not. Okay, so many are prominent. What does prominent mean? They are visible, they are big. They look brighter than as compared to the other stars. Whereas, some are tiny and faint. They are visible but they are very tiny. Okay, so the sun and the moon are comparatively closer to the earth okay the stars are far away from us the only two things that are closer to us is the sun and the moon they are not that closer but as compared to the stars they are much closer to the earth so we can see their round shapes clearly got it so why can we see the moon and the earth moon and the sun clearly because they are very close to us and their size is much bigger as compared to the stars. Stars are far away from us. That is why they are tiny and faint. But sun and the moon are very close to us. Therefore, we, their, we can see their shapes clearly. Moon is so very close to us. Therefore, we can see all the shapes of the moon. The sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, etc. are known as heavenly bodies. Now, what are heavenly bodies? These are all our heavenly bodies. So, you all can mark and keep it for yourself. We, we might need it for question answers. Now, try this. We, this is an experiment that you all have to try. Observe the sky on two clear nights. Okay, two nights you all have to watch the stars. Keep a gap of about a week between them. Base your observation on the following points. Okay, so two days you all have to observe the stars. Okay, after that, one week later, you all have to again watch those two stars only. So what are you going to uh, notice or observe? The brightness of the heavenly bodies. What will be the change that you all have to let me know? Whether they twinkle, their size and color changes in their position so all these points you'll have to note first two days you'll have to observe and write the uh, observation in front of them after a week again you'll have to observe the same two stars and then let me know what are going to be the changes in these four observations okay so this is an activity that you'll have to do on both nights, draw a picture of the illuminated portion of the moon and note how it changes from day to day. Along with the stars, you all can even draw the picture of the moon. Okay, so every day you all can do this, draw a picture of the moon, whatever it is in the shape, that night you all can draw the picture and keep and then observe the illumination portion of the moon matlab jo lighted part hota hai that you all have to note it down what is the shape and the illuminated part now what are stars the heavenly bodies that twinkle are called stars stars have their own light so what are the stars those are the heavenly bodies that twinkle why they twinkle because they have their own light Okay, so in give reason, teacher might ask you, why do stars twinkle? Why do they uh, uh, shine bright? So, they shine bright or they have, uh, they twinkle at night because they have their own light. Alright, whereas the moon does not have their, uh, have its own light. It, it is brighter, it looks white in color because of the reflection of the sun. Okay, the sun is a star. It is closer to us than any of the other stars. Now, sun is the biggest star and it is much closer to us than the other stars. Hence, it appears big and bright and brilliant. It is in its bright light during the day we cannot see the other stars because the sun is bigger in size it is closer to us it hides all the stars from us during the day din mein nahi dikhte hai tare why because of the bright light of the sun 
okay so this can be asked even in the exam planets the heavenly bodies that do not twinkle are called planets okay so what are stars stars are heavenly bodies that twinkles and those are having their own light whereas planets do not have their own light see over here only they have mentioned and they do not have their own light and they do not twinkle such type of planets such type of objects or uh, heavenly bodies are known as planets got it they get light from the stars planets revolve around a star even as they rotate around themselves now we all know earth this is the earth it revolves matlab ye ghoomta bhi hai khud se it moves in the uh, own position that is it rotates around it uh, revolves also revolves matlab gol ghoomta hai and it moves also in a circular orbit so that is known as rotation now what are the solar system what is known as the solar system whatever points i am marking children you all can mark and keep it for yourself the solar system our earth is a planet it gets its light from the sun it moves around the sun as i said it keeps on moving it revolves also gol ghoomta bhi hai and it keeps on moving in this way okay we all know the rotation of the earth and revolution of the earth it moves around the sun its movement around the sun is called the revolution of the earth matlab when it rotates aise gol jab ghoomta hai you can you can take a ball when you take a ball you when you move it that is known as rotation but when it keeps on moving gol ghoomta hai orbit mein sun is in the center suppose this is the sun and this is the earth so when the earth is moving in this position it is known as revolution whereas when when it is just rotating it is known as rotation of the earth it is very easy to remember it, rotation and revolution beside earth there are seven other planets that revolve around the sun okay so not only does earth moves around the sun but there are seven other planets that move around the sun they are these mercury venus mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so you all can mark this and keep it for yourself in order to write the uh, seven planets who revolves around the sun i hope this concept is clear Revo uh, revolution revolution and rotation of the earth both are different revolution means just wo khud se rotate karta hai ball ke jaise apne aap ghoomta hai and revolution means it keeps on moving in the circular orbit is it clear so in the textbook you all can find this on page number 2 everything is been shown these are the seven planets which are revolving around the sun see sun is the brightest star okay and where is earth earth is over here in the third place so what does earth do earth it keeps on moving over here also gol 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 ghoomta bhi hai and it keeps on moving around the circular orbit this is the orbit this orbit it never changes matlab yahan se wo jump karke yahan pe nahi aayega wo apne hi orbit mein ghoomta rehta hai so that when it is rotate revolving around the sun is known as revolution got it and not only earth all the seven planets they rotate around revol revolve around the earth not rotate revolve around the earth okay so difference between rotation and revolution i hope it is clear still if you all are not able to get it clearly do let me know in the comment section i will make a short video so that it will be more clear to you all but this is the solar system diagram that has been given in uh, textbook page number Two. Now let's move on to the next topic. Every planet in the solar system revolves around the sun, as I shown you all, along a specific path. Path मतलब एक ही orbit में. Okay, जैसे मैंने बोला Earth third place पे है, third orbit में है, तो it will keep on revolving over year only. It will not jump from year to year or any other orbit. No, it will keep on revolving around a year. This rotation revolution is known as 365 days it it takes 365 days to complete this revolution therefore it is known as revolution okay matlab ek saal mein ye pura complete karta hai earth the path 
is known as that planet's orbit okay so that circular path is known as orbit the sun which is a star and the planets that revolve around it together called the solar system got it so what are the solar system so this is the solar system beside planets the solar system also include various other heavenly bodies matlab what not only planets are there okay see asteroids are there these are uh, you all can say these are the broken stars that are revolving around the uh, sun okay over here also in this orbit also over here also so there are many heavenly bodies that are included in the solar system other heavenly bodies in the solar system now what are earth we know there are stars we know there is sun moon okay so what are other heavenly bodies in the solar system some heavenly bodies revolve around the planet they are called satellite okay so matlab kya as we know again i will explain you see this is earth and what is the satellite moon is over here okay so moon also keeps on revolving around the planet is ke hi aage piche ghumte rehta hai in a circular orbit who moon earth sun ke gol gol ghumta hai moon earth ke gol gol ghumta hai and that is known as revolution okay so they are called satellite moon is the satellite of the earth satellite too gets their light from the sun jaise maine bataya moon does not have its own light it gets light from the sun we see the moon at night it revolves around the earth hence it is called a satellite of the earth so this is the property of the moon most of the planet in the solar system have satellite the planet revolve around the sun along with there are satellites okay so along with the satellite the moon uh, along with the satellite the earth also revolves around the sun as i said now what are dwarf what does dwarf planet means dwarf means chota okay so the word you all have to understand what is dwarf dwarf means small planets they are some smaller heavenly bodies that revolve around the sun got it they are called dwarf planet dwarf matlab jaise maine bataya smaller of these the most well known is pluto pluto is the smallest and the uh, it is also known as the dwarf planet so in fill in the blanks teacher might ask you which is the dwarf planet so you all should be able to know it is pluto dwarf planet pluto dwarf planet revolve independently around the sun they have an orbit of their own as i said every planet has their own ऑर्बिट और वो ऑर्बिट कभी छोड़ता नहीं है इट डज नॉट जम्प फ्रॉम वन ऑर्बिट टू अदर नेक्स्ट इज एस्टेरॉइड्स एस्टेरॉइड्स एज आई शोन यूर ऑल वॉट आर एस्टेरॉइड्स दीज आर द वाइट थिंग दैट इज रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द सन बिटवीन द ऑर्बिट ये दोनों ऑर्बिट के बीच में यहाँ पे भी सम हेवनली बॉडीज माइट बी रोटेटिंग सो दीज आर नोन एज एस्टेरॉइड्स तो एस्टेरॉइड्स क्या होते हैं बिटवीन द प्लानट मार्स एंड जुपीटर देर इज अ बैंड ऑफ न्यूमरस स्मॉल हेवनली बॉडीज नाउ ओनली आई हैव शोन यू देर इज अ बैंड मतलब बहुत सारे हैं बिटवीन मार्स एंड जुपीटर यू ऑल कैन चेक द डायग्राम सेम यू विल फाइंड देर आर मेनी इन न्यूमरस हेवनली बॉडीज दैट इज फ्लोटिंग बिटवीन मार्स एंड जुपीटर एंड इट इज नोन एज बैंड ऑफ न्यूमरस स्मॉल हेवनली बॉडीज कंपेयर टू द सन other heavenly bodies in the solar systems are much smaller as i said sun is the biggest star in the solar system okay and we cannot compare it with any other heavenly bodies the moon is closest to the earth okay as i shown you the moon is closest to the earth that is why it appears to be big although it is actually very smaller than the sun it is closer to us moon is very closer to us therefore it appears big to us but it it is much smaller than the sun a diagram of the solar system is given below in it you see the sun in the center the heavenly bodies that revolve around their orbit the planets satellites dwarf planet asteroids are all part of the solar system so again i will explain you see this is the sun these are the seven planets this is known as orbit 
द वाइट थिंग दैट इज प्रेजेंट द बैंड दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन बिटवीन मार्स एंड जुपीटर इज नोन एज एस्टेरॉयड सो दिस डायग्राम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यूल टू अंडरस्टैंड even you all have to write it down so that it will be uh, draw it not write it down you all have to draw and practice it and learn how the stars are arranged like mercury venus earth mars these are having their own position and own orbit and this together is known as solar system okay over here also they have mentioned a diagram of our solar system so our solar system is actually as shown in the diagram so these are the questions that you all have to let me know in the comment section all the answers i have explained now and therefore it is an activity for you all to write all the answers and let me know in the comment section if you are not able to get the answers for this question that means your concept is not clear so understand the concept first and then find the answers i'm sure you will be getting it if you all are listening the video carefully now what is gravity now we all know whatever we throw up has to come down okay if we throw a ball it will come down now why does it come down we throw it up so it has to go up only why does it come down so it comes down because of the gravitational force so all heavenly bodies exert a force of attraction or pull on an one another this force is called the force of gravity so we as i said this gravitational force it keeps on uh the heavenly bodies exert a force that attracts each other okay they keep on attracting each other the sun exerts a gravitational pull on all planets whereas the tendency of the planet to move away from the sun as the result of this two forces a planet keeps revolving around the sun at a fixed distance in a fixed orbit in some ways satellites revolve around their planets now what does this mean i will explain you in hindi As I said, solar system में uh, the sun is in between and the planets revolve around it. So why do the planets revolve around the sun? वो एक दूसरे से अलग क्यों नहीं होते वो orbit change क्यों नहीं करते and why it keeps on revolving around the sun only? Because the sun exerts a gravitational pull on all planets. मतलब वो sun जितने भी planets हैं वो खुद के तरफ खींचता है and that a force is known as gravitational force okay iske wajah se planet is to move away from the sun to jab jaise hame koi khinchta hai to hum pull karte hain back side same way jab sun planets ko khinchta hai to planet apna force laga ke piche hatta hai and ye dono forces ke wajah se the planet keeps on moving around the sun is it clear it is very easy push and pull प्रॉपर्टी यू ऑल कैन यूज ओवर यर सन पुश पुल करता है एंड प्लानिट्स पुश करते हैं सो दैट एनर्जी दैट इज बीन क्रिएटेड बिटवीन द सन एंड द अर्थ इज नोन एज द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ऑल राइट इट इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन एंड दिस इज बीन डन इन ऑर्डर टू सो दैट इट कीप्स ऑन रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द सन एट अ फिक्स डिस्टेंस दैट इज वाई द प्लानिट्स विल नेवर चेंज द ऑर्बिट और द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द सन एंड द प्लानट इज मेनटेन्ड नाउ अगेन देर इज फ्यू एक्टिविटी दैट यू ऑल हैव टू डू दिस वी डोंट नीड टू एक्सप्लेन दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन ड्यू टू द अर्थ ग्रेविटेशनल प्रॉपर्टी और ग्रेविटी ऑल थिंग्स ऑन द अर्थ रिमेन ऑन इट वाई वी आर ऑन द अर्थ वाई वी आर ऑन द अर्थ बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स वॉट एवर वी थ्रो अप हैज टू कम डाउन वाई डजेंट इट फ्लोट ऑन द Uh, in the sky because of the gravitational force okay so this is very easy to understand that is why i am not explaining in the uh, deep, uh, detail now next is people have always been curious about the heavenly bodies in the sky they have always wanted to reach them however to see some objects from the earth into space it must be given proper power against the force of gravity rocket technology or uh, space launch technology is used for that purpose now as i as i said we are curious about the stars hamare heaven mein kya kya hai heavenly bodies hame dekhni hai what are the activities ye sab hum dekhte hai so how is it possible it is possible due to rocket technology or space launch technology For example, one of the Diwali firecracker is called a rocket. Okay, why it is called a rocket? This is 
हैविंग द सेम प्रॉपर्टी इसको जला दो तो इट विल मूव अपवर्ड सेम थिंग इज ओवर योर ऑल्सो स्पेस रॉकेट जो होता है इट इज बीन गिवन द फोर्स फ्रॉम इट्स टेल एंड देन इट मूव अप इन द स्काई एट अ सर्टन डिस्टेंस वेर एवर दे वॉन्ट टू लैंड दे कैन लैंड इट सिटिंग ऑन द अर्थ इट इज पैक्ड विद एक्सप्लोजिव सब्सटेंसेज ओवर यर्थ इट इज पैक्ड विद एक्सप्लोजिव सब्सटेंसेज द एक्सप्लोजिव सब्सटेंसेज बर्न रैपिडली एंड प्रोड्यूस अ लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी द डिजाइन ऑफ द रॉकेट इज सच दैट द फायर क्रैकर इज पुस्ट इन अ सर्टन डायरेक्शन एट अ ग्रेटर स्पीड सो इट इज बीन मेंटेन इन सच अ वे कि जब यहाँ पे जलाते हैं तो इट विल मूव अपवर्ड इन अ वेरी हाई स्पीड ओके सो वी ऑल नो द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ रॉकेट जब जलाते हैं तो इट विल गो स्ट्रेट अप इन द स्काई वेरी पावरफुल रॉकेट्स आर यूज टू सेंड इन स्पेस क्राफ्ट इन टू स्पेस ओके एज आई सेड अ ट्रेमेंडस क्वालिटी ऑफ फ्यूल इज बर्न इन द रॉकेट सो दैट द स्पेस क्राफ्ट वेइंग थाउजेंड ऑफ टन्स कैन बी लॉन्च इन टू द स्पेस इन द ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी ऑफ यू कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड डेवलप स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड सेंड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ स्पेस crafts into the space our country is well known for develop uh, well known for the development of its space launch technology hame pata karna hai that whatever is there in the solar system we should understand it okay therefore to study the planets to study the solar system we have to send space craft into the space okay for that very have, very powerful objects or space crafts are sent into the sky so that they can go over there take the pictures of the planets take the pictures of the solar system take the pictures of the stars take the pictures of the moon other planets and send it back to the earth so that we can study and we can understand our solar system some spacecraft remain in the space they do not come back some are brought back to the earth while some land on other planet or satellite as i said depending upon the need whatever the uh, uh, demands are there they have to place the spacecraft in the space or they can come back to the earth or they will land on the planet or satellite and be there for some while got it why do we need it because we need to study the planets and our solar system in some mission Uh, scientists also try in uh, travel in the spacecraft okay in some mission in this rocket many uh, scientists are been uh, traveling and they are called called as astronauts okay so the scientists that are traveling through spacecrafts are known as astronauts okay so here is the uh, indian astronaut rakesh sharma you all can read it and understand it it is very easy it is about rakesh sharma few details are been given you all can understand it and do let me know how you feel when you read it find out more about the work of kalpana chawla and sunita william asteroid astronauts of indian origin now these two ladies are a indian origin astronaut okay so you all can go and google it these two names and you will be getting all the complete information about these two ladies who were indian astronauts man made satellites man made satellites provide useful information for agricultural environment weather forecasting making maps and searching of water and mineral wealth on the earth they also used for telecommunications they are put into orbit around the earth they can remain in the space for many years now man made satellite what are man made satellites why are man made satellites we send satellites from the earth in the heaven those satellites are known as man made satellite why we send over them in the space so that we can get the information for agriculture environment what is the environment around the earth वेदर फोरकास्टिंग मतलब कब बारिश होने वाली है कहाँ पे इट इज गोइंग टू रेन वेर एवरी थिंग रिलेटेड टू वेदर वी कैन गेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ वी हैव अ सेटेलाइट इन द स्पेस ओके तो ऊपर का व्यू जो होता है वो हमें कम्प्लीटली दिखाता है इट टेक्स द पिक्चर्स सेंड्स द पिक्चर्स टू द स्पेस सेंटर्स एंड देन वी कम टू नो कि क्लाइमेट कैसे होने वाला है वेर इट इज गोइंग टू रेन वेर इट इज गोइंग टू हैव एन अर्थ क्विक एवरी related to weather where there is going to be cyclone so everything is being shown through the use of satellite okay therefore we can predict the future of the weather they are used for telecommunications as i said we can use satellites for telecommunications matlab jo hamare mobile ke signals hote hain that we can uh, uh, 
uh, interact or use through telecommunications so uh, some sp uh, space scientists have not yet been able to find a single planet which has life on it we do not have a life other than earth therefore our earth is invaluable planet only life is found on earth okay no other planet is having uh, life on their planet the degradation of its environment for any reason will be a threat to the existence of life itself to matlab hum yahan se jab space centers jo space satellites jaate hai they search for life ki kaha pe koi hai kya kisi planet pe kuch hai kya if there is water or if there is minerals they all find it and let us know Uh, on the earth whether there is existence of life on that planet or no still we have not got a single proof of any life on any earth so in this chapter what we have learned is a, a sun is a star all other bodies in the solar system get the light from the sun we all all the planets get the light from the sun the sun and the planets the satellites of planets and asteroids that revolve around the sun are together called the solar system things on the earth remain on it due to the force of gravity to travel in the space the earth's gravitational force has to be overcome rocket technology helps us to do that so all these points i have explained and tried to make the lesson easy and understandable still if you all find anything difficult do let me know in the comment section see you in the next video till then take care bye